Chi is going to be a very, very small fly. Um, might be kind of hard to see, but I've zoomed in as well as I can, so hopefully that will help a little bit. Um, this is called what's called an RS2. It's a little tiny uh, mayfly merger. And I'm tying it on, uh, this is a size 18 dry fly hook, so it's, it's pretty small. Uh, I'm going to tie this one in gray, so I've got gray thread. Uh, we'll just go ahead. It's a pretty simple fly. It's just it's just small, and so you really have to be particular how you tie it. Um, we're going to start off by tying our thread down, and you have to do something kind of tricky when you tie your thread down. Um, we want to make sure on this one that our tag end lays down right on top of the hook because we're actually going to use that tag we're going to use the tag end to um, split our tail here in just a second you'll see what I let's see what I mean by that okay so I'm going to tie it back I'm not going to tie off uh, or I'm not going to cut off the tag end just yet now for the tail we're using what are called micro fibbits and they're really fine um, some sort of, I'm not sure exactly what they're made out of, some sort of micro material, but um, they look about as close to an actual mayfly tail as I think you could probably find. So what I've done is I've snipped two of them, and I'm going to lay it down, and I want this tail to be about one and a half times the length of the hook shank. And so do the best you can to measure about where that is. And I'm actually going to move my thread up to the middle of the hook when I tie this down. Okay, so do the best that you can to measure the length. And you can make the first couple wraps, and if you need to adjust it, you just grab a hold of them, and I think mine are just a little bit long, so I'm going to pull them in just a tiny bit. And keep wrapping backwards. And you want to make sure that the micro fibbits stay on top of the hook. And this is by far the toughest part of this fly. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to split the tail. And to do that, take your thumb and push it up behind the micro fibbits, and that should kind of split them. And then take your thread and pull your thread up through the middle of the tail and then tie that down. You can go ahead and trim that off now. And I'll show you, hopefully you can see this, kind of what that should look like. There is our tail um, we've got it split the way we want. Okay, now the rest of this is actually fairly simple. We're going to grab a small piece of uh, frog hair dubbing. We use the frog hair because it's, it's fine and it secures down to the thread pretty well. So grab a small clump of that, you don't need much because it's just a small fly, and twist it around the thread, and then go ahead and wrap it. We're going to go about three quarters of the way up the hook. Okay, now because it's going to be a small merger type pattern, we're going to tie in on just a small tuft of, I'm using Antron, you could use um, poly yarn or whatever material you want. And I'm going to lay this down, I'm actually tying this in, as you can see this piece is longer than what I want it to be, which is fine. Uh, we'll trim that here in just a second. So tie it down good and tight. Trim it and then put a little more dubbing on your thread and dub over the top of it.
trim that off. And then we'll trim this little tuft that we have on top. Trim that off. And that there is a simple little RS2 uh, mayfly merger. It's great if you fish this. Um, if you fish kind of a, a top fly as, as a bigger, maybe a bigger parachute emerger, something that floats really well, and then drop this off of it, uh, that's usually when I've had the most success. So there it is. That is a gray size 18 RS2.